click on window menu and then select libraries this would then open libraries panel you could create a new library or use an existing one for example by selecting your library click on the folder icon to create a new group inside your library give it a name for example arrows and then you could simply drag and drop symbols and arrows from your file explorer into your group inside your library you can add another group and call it for example symbols and in a similar way you could also drag and drop new images when I created a new group it created it inside the arrows group as a subgroup so to take it outside the subgroup you can drag and drop it above its group itself and you can collapse to make it easier to identify the groups and then simply drag and drop from your library to your timeline to use any of your images in addition to images you could also import graphics templates so go to your graphics templates right click on a template and then hover your cursor over copy to library and then select your library it would just put it inside your library again to keep things organized you can create a new group and move the template into that group libraries are stored online so you could open creative cloud desktop app go to files tab and then select your libraries here you could see all the uploaded libraries you could also add items directly to your library from creative cloud because libraries are stored in the cloud you could access it from any of your computers or laptops windows or Mac back. Just one downside is that every time you use an item from your library, Premium Pro would create a new folder called CC Libraries Downloads and make a copy of each items that you used in this folder. So for every project, you could get duplicates, but it would just download the items that you have used in your project, not all the items in your library. 